Don't worry. I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Master, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. <laughs> I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And that's was there. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. What happened here? I, I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Hmm. Then the That's first no step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Okay. Will you two be all right? Yes, I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? I love how it just ends there. They don't say anything else. I wish I got a lot more. We're still a little shook up, but I think we'll be fine. I just need to sit here for a while. My leg still hurts. You should get to safety when you can. I cleared out quite a few monsters on the way in, but you never know when they'll be back. Did one of those monsters hurt you? Well, I mean, not exactly. This old lug twisted his ankle running away from those monsters. Nice of you to stick around to protect your poor old wife. I was running to get help. 
Yeah, lots of help in the tool shed, I'm sure. <laughs> what, you got a little army hiding in there? Maybe I should go. Oh, no, please don't get the wrong idea. I still love my husband, even if he is a coward. Wow. Ah. <laughs> oh, by yourself. Are they sheep? They look like rabbits. Um, I wish that gave me a little more experience. If you notice, my um, level up bar is a little bit higher than it would have been if I had just done that once. But I, when I start, I'm not that good at editing video yet. So I couldn't have just kept recording and I wanted to end before I got into the boss fight. So I hit my delete button, which starts Fraps recording one too many times. So I did the battle and I wasn't recording. So. I went to the store and bought some stuff, and now I'm back here. So, let's go! Actual human people. I don't know there were human people. Was that a human people? I don't know. Could have been one of the bears. I'm not sure. Oh, they're not human people. They're... Stop. Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yes. Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. Uh, we'll send help right away. Thank you. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Caleb here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains! You know, gold Silver? Um, Manganite? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. <sighs> well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Well, I'm Please, watching you right make back. yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Awesome. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. I do need supplies. Okay. Jerk. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the other one. Yeah, let's talk to Bean. Thanks so much for your help. Please make yourselves at home. I will, guys. How are you two holding up? Don't worry about us. I'm in no rush to take on a giant, but I think we're in the clear. Okay, good. And now. Callum, I don't like you. That's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, you're one to talk. Can your friend even see from under that hat? He can see everything. It's spooky, really. No reason to get defensive. Just trying to help. Oh, wow. I exploded on him because of that. That's what you get for trash talking my hat. Um... I could use the health, but I really want to upgrade Fidget again. Uh, let's get them all up to one. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Shut up, guy. I don't like you. You're a jerk. Prospectors, Fidgets? That was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. <laughs> the answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. 
I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I apologize for that. I, apparently there was somebody knocking on the fence outside one of our neighbors or something and my dog just went ballistic. Hope that didn't blow out any of your step of your ears. journey will reveal itself in time. <laughs> Very Sorry. well. But something, something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Ooh. Okay. So now, I suppose we just have to explore around the village. I know I need some supplies to buy. What's this? Um, characters with a... Okay, quest givers. I don't want to talk to you right now. I need to buy some stuff. You. Dion? Jess? Uh, good morning? Mm. Is it, though? No. I, well, I guess? He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. I'm not a rat, derp. Okay, don't think I want to go that way. Didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna dash. Let's talk to you then. Why, hello there. I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. <laughs> Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, sure. some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. Ah. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe okay. you could... Deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blue. I suppose this really shows how professional I am, guys. I am so sorry. My door, it doesn't really close all the way when it starts getting colder outside. And my dog has figured out how to push it open. And then my dad walked by and he was on the phone. I'm... <laughs> it's actually quite embarrassing. I'm sorry. Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. Right, guy? Oh boy. Okay. Here you go. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Oh, I'll do that just for you. Okay, but first I want to learn where this marketplace is so that I can um, buy and sell some stuff. Sorry, that, that was more southern than... I think that was Australian. I'm not even sure. Talk to that jerk. Okay, um, there's treasure, treasure here. You have a quest, but I want to find the guy. You need a guy who I can sell stuff to. Or, more importantly, buy stuff from. I don't have any keys. Ah, dang it. But I can go down here? No? Can I go down here? No. Ah, but I can't go up here. You have a quest too. Well, I want to complete the one for Augustine first. Oh. Hi there. 
Well, hello. Uh... You're a quiet one. Just manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. A little down, though, I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. Wow. Okay. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. <laughs> Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. Thank you, Ginger. Come on, where's that marketplace? I need to sell some stuff. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Okay. Um... Take it, he recognizes her. I don't want to go that way. That'll lead me to the next, um... Place. Wait a minute, can I go down here? No. Well, let's talk to these people, see if eventually I'll be able to find one you, who... You! You're perfect! Um, do stuff. thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. <laughs> I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box. And return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Sounds like okay, Pandora's Reed. Box. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Reed, eh? He, he didn't say his name, did he? <laughs> yeah, he <clears throat> What's that? Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, okay. they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Mm. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She <laughs> definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these that. monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! And I exploded in your face, too! <laughs> oh, that could be misinterpreted. Um, I'll, I'll stop saying that now. I'll just stop talking. Okay, so from one guy we heard that were perfect, and from another guy we heard were great. And then from her, she was mean and weird, and apparently us doesn't like her, because she's a bratty little something, and he doesn't know why he said it. Okay, so that's what we gathered. But, oh, finally, shop. Good. This would have been wrong. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. 
Welcome to my humble shop. Your voice sounds really echoey, guy. Really echoey. Um, you sell the stuff for the same amount as the other guy. I only have one cupcake left. And six wall chickens. Six wall chickens um, for 175 a pop. That's two for 150. Math on camera. I know I'm going to mess it up, so I'll just shut my mouth there. Should be 450 for that. And 80 of these, ah, uh, or cost 80. I know I need to buy something, so let's buy. Let's buy that many of those. And we'll sell. Okay, I was right. It was 450. I'll sell all of those. I need some more money, though. But I know I need some more of these. Let's get two more. Cap our stock off at 10? 8. 8. And if one could be. Okay, that's all I have to... No, don't say Thank you for coming in. I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. <laughs> so I take it you're not very sure, eh? Okay, guys. I think I've been record. Whoa! Did not mean to get back up there, guys. Did not mean to be recording this long. Oh, okay. There's someone else, and another one of these. I need some keys. We need some money. Um, off camera, I think I'm gonna do some grinding so that you guys don't have to sit through it and watch it. Here we go. Good place to stop. Stop. A safe point. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys later. Remember to like your YouTubers and to tip your waitresses. Goodbye!